guys and welcome on an update video on the shallow cube build. As you can see I have started with the aquascape and I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. I'm using about three boxes of aquaforest rock which is a man-made rock made by aquaforest. The one I have here is the old type. I bought this, these boxes about a year ago and they came out with a newer version which is about a bit more pinkish in the color and has a different type of shapes and stuff. But as you can see, this box came with uh, some nice size, different size pieces, different shapes and everything. And they make an excellent choice for creating a nice aquascape for your tank. To glue all the pieces together, I used some super glue that I bought at Biltema. It's a Norwegian and Swedish shop. It's a bit gel-like, so it makes an excellent glue for gluing the rocks. And as you can see here, it holds the pieces fairly well together. I can flip them around, lift them up. This is three pieces glued together. It's gonna make it easy to octoscape the whole tank. So before I started to scape, I decided to make a sketch. I took a piece of paper, a pencil and a ruler, created a square and uh, a grid. So it was a lot easier for me to draw this out or sketch this out. I wanted to create something that was natural looking, but also had a lot of uh, open space for the fish to swim, had a lot of uh, hiding spaces for the fish and would also have a lot of space for me to place uh, all the corals I wanted to have in the tank. I already have an idea of what I want to put in the tank, so this made it a lot easier for me to kind of plan out where everything is going to go. So I sketched out the starfish shape on the piece of paper. Once that was done, I went over and to the tank and I put a piece of cardboard on top of the tank stand. I then made some marks on the cardboard and started to sketch out the shape of the starfish. So it was a lot easier for me to know where to place the rocks um, to get the shape that I wanted. So after a couple of hours of playing around with all the rocks, I finally got the scape that I had envisioned in my head. And I'm pretty happy with it. As you can see, there's a lot of caves and holes for the fish to swim in and out. And also provide them with uh, some nice hiding spaces uh, so they can yeah, feel safe inside the tank. I used a bunch of smaller pieces to hide all the seams and try to make the scape look a little bit more natural. And all the smaller pieces will be glued together once I finish the scape and I have everything inside the tank. Since I have to break down the scape, I have glued all the bottom pieces together so it's easier for me to just put the bigger top rocks on the top and then just fill in the gaps with the smaller rocks. So the scape is fairly low. Uh, 20 centimeters high, but the tank is only 50 centimeters high, 100 centimeters side to side, front to back. And I'm going to be using um, four Nero 5 pumps for the flow. I'm gonna have one on each side and then uh, two in the middle, one high and one low. And I'm hoping the low one will provide enough flow in the bottom to not let any debris settle in, in the middle of the scape. So the tank is going to be a mixed reef, but mostly SPS like Acroporas and Multiporas. I'm also going to have a few other corals like chalice, uh, favias, favides, uh, torches and some softies like uh, swanthids. So I created these uh, islands throughout the tank to separate all the aggressive corals from each other. So I can place uh, chalices, swanthids and other aggressive corals by themselves. They can grow freely on the rock. I don't have to worry about them spreading to the main rock and uh, killing or hurting each other or other corals so they won't be stressing out the reef because the last thing you want once the coral starts growing all over the, the tank is corals killing each other, hurting each other that you have to be constantly uh, chipping away and, and figuring out how to keep them separated from each other so it's also going to make it a lot easier for me to frag since I can just take the piece out of the tank I can easily cut the rock or uh, use a saw or something to, to remove a piece of the coral from the rock so I can easily frag them up without having to damage or move around bigger pieces from the main structure that is glued together. So all the SPS I can easily frag inside the tank since I can just use some clippers. Uh, Montiporas I can also uh, chip away so it's not going to be that hard but uh, some uh, some corals like chalices and uh, favides and uh, favias, they need to be cut with a bandsaw and it's going to be really hard to cut uh, corals inside the tank uh, with a bandsaw so it's easier for me to just remove the piece and cut them uh, outside the tank. 
So that's it for today's episode. Let me know what you guys think of the tank. If there's something you guys would have done differently or something I should be considering. I'm really looking forward to get this uh, up and running and start to, yeah, putting in fish and corals and everything. It's still a little way to go, but yeah, I'm really excited for, for this build to get finished. So if you want to keep uh, following me on my journey with the build, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, and yeah, any comments, anything you guys are wondering about, let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching and happy reefing.